Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Hello, Allah. Hi. This is an episode in the series of Extra Arabic that is designed to expose Arabic language learners to idioms, metaphors, phrasal verbs, and expressions in the everyday spoken Arabic, especially in the Saudi culture. Not to hold you on. Let's go for the topic here, which is about the use of zahag. Zahag is not used only in the Saudi culture. Is used in other spoken dialects today, but not the exact meaning in the modern standard Arabic. In modern standard Arabic, zahag means intimidated killing for bad intentions, especially killing innocent and good people. And usually when it's used in this meaning, is combined with the word ruh or arwah, which means soul or souls that you are killing. So zahaqa ruh, that means he killed a soul or a person. Okay, now... The meaning that we use today in today's spoken dialects is not really about killing, actually. It means killing boringly. So when we say to something, zahag, it means malal, too much boredom. It's not any boredom, it is killing boredom. So let's see examples. When I say, ish had zahag, what is this boredom? What is this killing boredom? Il yom kan kullu zahag. The day was all killing boredom. The second meaning we use zahag for is as an adjective to describe something too much boring, like in a killing way. So, al ishtima'at zahag. The meetings are too much boring, like a lot of boredom. Hadol al anshita zahag. These activities are just like a total boredom. Okay, as an adjective, if I want to say I'm feeling bored for or this person feeling bored, we use zahgan for singular masculine, zahgana singular feminine, zahganin for plural feminine or masculine, zahganat for plural feminine only. Let's see examples. Ana zahgan al I am bored today because I'm feminine. If I am a masculine person speaking, I would say Ana zahgan al yom. Talagna min al madrasa. Zahganin. We left school feeling too much bored. Okay. Zahag. As a verb, it means feeling bored or getting bored. Zahigt min al kitaba. I got bored from writing. Zahigna min al gada fil bait. We got bored from staying at home. Zahag with shadda on ha. It means to make someone get too much bored or too badly annoying someone. Examples. Zahaktuna. Zahaktuna, it means you as a plural you, annoyed us too much. You made us feeling too much bored, killing bored, or too much annoyed. The second example. Zahakhum al ishtima' kul yom. The meeting every day made them killingly feeling bored, or made them feel killing bored, or too much bored. Okay. Mizahik. Mizahik, it is actually ism maf'ul. I would say it's an adjective if we classify it similar to English. And ism al maf'ul and ism al fa'al in Arabic, they are used in the function of verb as well. So, if you want to say, I got bored or annoyed by someone, you say, Mizahik. So, you say, Mizahigatni al mudira bitalabatiha al kathira. Which means the manager annoyed me or made me get. Too much annoyed or feeling killed by boredom with her too much requests. Yeah, that's for today. Before you leave, please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumb up if you like it and find it useful. Share it with friends and family who are interested in learning Arabic. Write in the comment section your opinion and your questions. I will return to them as soon as possible. And please don't forget to follow me on my page on Instagram, Learn Arabic with Hannah. Thank you for watching. Shukran ala al-mushahada. Ma'a salama. Goodbye.